What's up guys, Romsko here, and today we are comparing all four wireless mice from Glorious, featuring the Model D, Model O, Model O-, and the Model D-, aka the Dude lineup, so let's check them out. So let's start off with comparing the Model O on my left and the Model D on my right. So with the Model O, you can see that it's an ambidextrous mouse, so both sides pretty much look exactly identical, while the Model D is a right-handed mouse, which means on the right hand, there's a little more of a protrusion to help with a right-handed grip. So on the top side, we can see the honeycomb structure, and it's there to reduce weight while maintaining strength of the plastic in the mouse. Now, they both have slightly different patterns, especially with the Model O having holes on the mouse buttons themselves. Scroll wheel is the same while the DPI button on the Model D is slightly taller and wider than the Model O, same with the forward and backward buttons on the left hand side. I'm not sure if you can see this on camera, but the RGB strip on the Model D is slightly wider than the Model O, making it seem much brighter even though they're at the same brightness. The RGB strips on the Model O are more on the sides, while the Model D has it on the back, making it more visible from the top down view. And when we look at the side profile, you can see that the arch of the Model D is much higher than the Model O. The bottom of the mice are pretty much the same, with the G-Skate feet, you've got the DPI light, you've got the BAMF sensor, power switch, and the only difference is the honeycomb pattern. I'm sure you guys also noticed the overall vibe between the two mice, where the Model D is much more rounded and softer, while the Model O is more angular in design. And if we take a look at the front of the mice, both of them do have USB-C, which is awesome. But if you take a closer look at the mouse buttons themselves, the buttons on the Model D are significantly thicker than the Model O, creating a deeper click sound. In fact, all the buttons on the Model D have a deeper sound than the Model O, which is pretty interesting. So those are all the differences, but now we have two new mice. We have the new Model O- and the new Model D-, which are essentially smaller versions of their original counterparts. Between the Model D and the Model D-, there is absolutely no difference in terms of design. The only difference is the size. So if the Model D is slightly too big for you, then the Model D- is going to be the perfect size for you. And as for the Model O and O-, the only difference are the holes on the top side, as well as it being smaller than the original counterpart. And by the way, the Model O is already small hand friendly, so having the O- is going to be perfect for those with even smaller hands. In terms of weight, the Model D and the Model O both weigh 69 grams. Nice. And the Model D- weighs 67 grams, and the Model O- weighs 65 grams. Compared to most wireless mice out there, they are super light, and even comparing them side to side, you can barely tell between the heaviest mouse to the lightest mouse. And that's a good thing, because that means you can use any of these four mice for a very long time without feeling tired or any kind of strain on your wrists and shoulder. From largest hand size to smallest, you have the Model D, the Model D-, the Model O, and the Model O-, with the Model D- and Model O being pretty similar when it comes to how much space is filled when you put your hand on the mouse. And for me, as a right-handed person, the Model D does feel a little better compared to the Model O, but that's just a personal preference. All four mice are available in matte black or matte white, and regardless of what color you choose, it's going to be awesome, because they don't leave fingerprints, you don't seal oil stains, it just looks awesome and clean whenever you use it. And just for size reference, this is what the Model D and Model D- minus look like from the very bottom, from the top, as well as the Model O and the Model O- minus in terms of size, from the bottom, and from the top. And with the Glorious Core program, you can customize everything, from having different profiles to different lighting effects, key bindings for multiple programs, and even performance edits, such as having up to 6 stages of DPI and polling rates. And with the drag-free Ascend cable, 2.4G receiver, and wireless dongle, the wired and wired capabilities of these mice is truly glorious. Now one of the best parts about these glorious mice is that you do not need to compromise on battery life. Whether you buy the Model O, the Model D, or the Minus counterparts, they all have the same amount of battery life of a maximum of 71 hours of usage. That's almost 3 days of usage without having to charge it once. But that number rating is when RGB is turned off, so if you do use RGB, obviously the battery life is going to deplete a lot quicker. In my testing, with static LEDs at 100% brightness, I was able to get around 18.5 hours of constant usage, which is really good. And that's constant usage, we haven't even included all the standby time that we can use it, and if we do include all the standby time, you can probably stretch that number to around 25 to maybe 28 hours. You're guaranteed to be able to use your mouse with full RGB brightness, 
for an entire workday and maybe even two depending on how often you use your mouse. You may have to charge the mouse once a day, but considering all the hours that you can use within a single charge, it's totally worth it and the battery life is just awesome. As for pricing, all these mice are $80 which I think is really good. You're basically getting four different size options to choose from, from the big boy Model D all the way to the mini sized Model O minus for those small hands. You're also getting lots of RGB zones for flashiness, lots of customizability, low latency for gaming, and you're also getting a lot of battery life whether you have RGB on or off and you're also getting a really lightweight mouse, which is one of their biggest selling factors. Not to mention the clean design where you barely see any of the branding whatsoever and it doesn't scream gamer as well. But that's been it. All four of these mice are really solid options. They look great, feel great, and work really well too. And if you have any questions, leave in the comments down below. And if you wanna buy them, it will be linked in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.